then you shake with ice. Can you see the color? Today's episode. How do you do winter? Welcome. So it's a lovely day outside. Just uploaded some videos to my YouTube channel and my Pinterest, whatever. I don't know if that's working or what's happening. It's too much. Too much. Oh, I look pinkish. Have I? Was I actually in the sun yesterday? I don't know. The funny thing is, Martin got that thing that Michael Jackson had that you got sort of, you turn white. You know, that, not, not alopecia, but whatever that is. He's got that on his leg, so he can't get tanned there. And when I put my legs next to his leg, my leg was as white as his patch of white. So it's like I haven't got any colour at all. Only pink. Anyway, today I might spend some time on the balcony. Well, you should, shouldn't you? Because look at that sky. Well, you can't see, can you? Because it's too light. It's blue. It's blue. It's nothing but blue. Should I go for a swim? Maybe everyone is away. Anyway, what I really need to do is tidy up here in the living room, in the kitchen, because Monday or Tuesday, depending on what, what Martin decides, because the ball is in his court now, we are going to have this cocktail thing where we start at, I think, Martin's, and then we're going to come to me and then to Magnus, and we have a sort of cocktail at each place and some nibbly things. And, I mean, look at this. You can't invite people looking like that, so... Although the sun is shining, I will be inside. I just recycled glass and paper. It is so hot that I might not continue cleaning at home. Instead, I might go out and enjoy myself in the sunshine. So, I haven't decided yet. It seems a waste not to sort of utilize the weather, the last rays of summer. I've been cleaning like a madman and then I sort of thought, well, maybe later today I will take a cocktail because it is Saturday after all. And look at all that. I, I sort of forgot that I got all that liquor. And so in this liquor cabinet, I found an unopened blue curacao. curacao. So I'm trying to look for a cocktail that uses a curacao. And I found this. From mine and Magnus trip to Amsterdam, a Geneva, or Geneva, I don't know how the English word for it. So I'm looking up cocktails with that in, and I found, suddenly I found a cocktail that utilizes or uses some of the sort of strange liqueurs and stuff that I've got, like Crème du Cassis and Maraschino Sherry. So, um, all I really need to make now is something called ginger syrup, which is not hard at all. It's like basically syrup, you put ginger in it. So this is how my kitchen looks. Like someone's, no, not like I'm being robbed, like I'm being evicted or something like that. Sort of people just put stuff, get out of here. Anyway, I'm going to make ginger syrup. This is how you do it. Ginger syrup. It's supposed to stand, say ginger syrup up here. I hope I can make it. I had a really hard time trying to convert cups and ounces into what I comprehend in Swedish. So luckily I have a measuring cup that is one cup. So you take half a cup of sugar. Wait, I have to turn this one around. No. Turn the beat around. Half a cup of sugar and then half a cup of water. This I think is the same amount and it says instead of saying 50% like of 50-50 it says four ounces of water and I've been calculated and it turned out to be the same hopefully. Correct me if I'm wrong. So this is going to simmer till the, the, the sugar is dissolved. And then you're supposed to add one third of a cup of minced ginger. 
So I'm just mincing away. So the sugar is, well, not gone, but you can't see it anymore. Added grated ginger. And this is supposed to sort of simmer for 30 minutes. So I have to wait for it to start simmer because, because before and it's not supposed to. I mean, boil and simmer is a difference, right? So that's how much it <laughs> yielded. About half a deciliter, I guess, maybe. Yeah. So I hope, I hope this will be worth it. Now it needs to cool down. Okay, so here's the plan. First, I'm going to make this drink called Fiddlesticks and Horse Feathers using, oh God, they're so weird. That Geneva, Geneva, the Geneva, I don't know. Crème de cassis, Lux, Luxaro maraschino liqueur, I've got that. Ginger syrup, I've got that. Orange bitters, haven't got that. Have bitters, we'll use that instead. Lush, okay, so I think I, I, I'm, I'm set here. But after I've done this, I'm gonna be making a drink with using this. Curacao, Curacao, Curacao. Oh, words. Doom, doom, doom. Don't come easy to me. Problem is, I'm going to make a drink where I have to make lemonade. So later on, I will be making a drink called Blue Lagoon. And uh, then it calls for, let's see, vodka, blue curacao and lemonade. I have to make lemonade. So I looked up a recipe that says perfect lemonade. And I think it's, if I get it, it's equal parts. Yes, one part sugar, one part water, one part lemon juice. So. I'm going to use, because I'm not going to be needing that much, I'm going to start sort of juicing one lemon and see what it yields and then I'm going to add the other stuff in it. Okay, so here's a little trick I do before I squeeze any lemon, I always take away the zest. Sometimes I use this in the drink, as is, or I freeze it as, as to save it, because it's this is really flavorful. Anyway, let's see how much... Oh God, this is going in here. <laughs> so this is about, I'd say half a deciliter. So I will put half a deciliter of water, half a deciliter of sugar into this, melt it and start making lemonade. I'm fantastic. I'm a phenomenal, I'm a phenomenal. I'm making lemonade while singing this stupid song. And mind you, I haven't even had one cocktail yet. So how will this turn out if I'm acting like this now? Hello and welcome to Let's Make Fiddlesticks and Horse Feathers. It's a drink which is quite complicated and the only reason I'm doing it is because I happen to have all the ingredients, most of the ingredients at home. So we're going to use this Bols Geneva, 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 I don't know the English pronunciation for it, Geneva in Swedish. I happen to have that because I bought that when I was in Amsterdam. I also somehow picked up Crème de Cassis, I don't know why. Or how? I know why I bought this uh, maraschino sherry because it looks to me like all the cocktails used it. And then when I bought it, then I realized, well, no, they don't. We also will be using Angostura bitters we also, and simple syrup with ginger. Quite complicated to make. So, um, yeah, I hope this is a good drink. So here's how you make it. You take uh, six centiliters or two ounces of Geneva, 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 Geneva. Then one fourth of an ounce of Crème de Cassis. It's oh, 75, 0.75 centiliters of, not one centiliters of Crème de Cassis. This is going fantastic. And then you use three fourths of a teaspoon of maraschino sherry. Three well, magically, that's it. I, 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 I did it. And then you take two dashes of uh, orange bitters. I haven't got it, so I got Angostura bitters instead. Fourth of a teaspoon. They are very specific in this recipe. Hopefully it's good. Then 
you add, this is really funny, three eighths of a teaspoon of simple syrup. Three eighths? How? Then you take the largest piece of ice you can find. Let's get around. And when you sort of want to make. It is kind of good. It's kind of refreshing. It's kind of minty, menthol-y. Mm. You feel that the glass is getting cold when it's done. So here goes fiddlesticks and horse feathers for the very first time and might be the last time as well. Not sure. I don't, I hope it's not fantastic because it's, it's kind of hard. <laughs> I liked it. Oh, why, why did I like it? To me, it tastes almost. It's to me, it does taste maraschino sherry. That syrup, no. And Geneva, I don't know how do you, Geneva. I don't know how, how that tastes. Maybe it's sort of the same as maraschino sherry. Oh, and that cassis. Oh, maybe that's it. The cassis tastes as well. Yeah, but maybe this is. It's good. I'm never gonna make it again because it's not fantastic. Hello and welcome to Let's Make a Blue Lagoon. And for, for doing Blue Lagoon, we're gonna need vodka, we're gonna need blue curacao, 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 and also lemonade and I'm not sure because I watched different um, recipes and they were some were using sort of lemonade lemon sugar water and other were using things like Sprite so I don't know if it's supposed to be fizzy or if you if there's a choice but anyway here we go so first one part vodka one part lovely blue can you see Cusau and four parts lemonade. Then you shake with ice. Can you see the color? And now it's time to pour it over some crushed ice. Lots of ice here. Oh, wait, need a strainer. It, it, it looks like it's gonna taste minty, but I don't think it will. Mm. Oh, this is really good. Next time I'm gonna try it. Mm. There's a definite sharp taste of orange. Must be the curacao. Really good. I'm going to use this one again, and next time I think I'm going to use Sprite or something like that. Mm. It's too sweet for me. Oh, it's a pity. So, how can I change it? Maybe if I don't have lemonade in it, like I have soda or something, maybe that. <laughs> 